it's Uncle Laurie back with another shave. Today is Wednesday, so we're doing an Aussie Wednesday shave. I've got my beanie on because the temperature has dropped. Summer has disappeared with a vengeance. Uh, oh, don't know how you disappeared, but it disappeared. So the Aussie soap we're going with today comes from Whispers from the Woods. Apollo. So this is uh, a take on uh, Ralph Lauren Polo Sport. It's quite lightly scented off the puck, but a very pleasant light scent. We'll see how it leathers up, see if we can get a bit more. But I think it, from memory it's just a light scent. Um, I'll leave the uh, scent description here. And I'll also follow that up with uh, the soap ingredients as well. While you're looking at that, I'll uh, put the free shave on. Which is my normal. Verde activated charcoal shrinking piece of soap. As you can see, it's getting pretty small now. There's not many shaves I haven't used it. There's probably three or four shaves where I use something else over the last four months or five months. I think I started in August last year. Just uh, rub it in, rub it in against the Beautiful. While that's soaking in, the brush we're going to use, I've got a DS Cosmetic handle, hexagon, very sh the short handle, with a uh, snow leopard, that's right, a yaki snow leopard knot. 26 mil, very soft. So I'll just put that in the water to get, get moist. You don't really need to soak the synthetics, of course. And we'll move to the other camera. We'll talk about the, uh, the soap a bit later. Right, we're at the, um, the overhead shot now. Shake out my brush. As you can see, I've already got a half teaspoon sample. It's quite soft soap, soft and sticky. So it should lather up pretty quick. So we'll just use the tips of the brush to start with. You can hear the wind in the background. And it's quite windy here today. As you can see, the soap is gathering up quite quickly. I mean, a bit of a paste, I get it just a one squirt moisture. Slowly build up your leather, nice and pasty now. Just give it another 
single squirt. Display the brush a little bit, get some soap into the center. When you got it splayed, you don't make it too active, unless you get too many bubbles. There we go. Starting the water now. That's eight squirts so far. As you can see, it's very moist. See? And it's beautiful and moist. It's very, very shiny at the moment. Another three squirts, it's probably be enough. This soap doesn't mind a bit of water. Getting there. A little bit more. leather, we've got a high density leather going here, where you can see the shine, don't worry too much about those, some of those bigger bubbles, beautiful, alright, we'll go with that, we'll uh, move to the Shaving state. Right, back from um, making that leather. How many times do I say right? <laughs> it's just a habit. Beautiful leather. Nice and shiny. I don't know whether you can see the shine. I'm trying to get it in the light. But it is shiny. Beautiful. Right, I've already re-wet the face. The razor we're gonna go with comes from Amazon, actually. I picked this up on Amazon for about $15, $16, delivered to my door. Um, it's just a generic 
DE89 style razor, no blade overhang. As you can see, it lines up quite nicely. It's quite a mild razor. And in that, I've put the Zorik blade with a super platinum. Now this is the first time I've tried these, so we'll see how they go. We'll put the leather on. Oh, it's a lovely leather. Beautiful. Oh, it's a lovely scent coming off. It's not very strong. I would call it a four out of five. Sort of a cologne scent. Reminds me of another soap. Uh, waves, I think, from... Uh, Barrister and Man, I've just been using. It's not the same, but it just reminds me of it. As you can see, it's a lovely, shiny leather. And well, you can see the shine. Another great soap maker. This is a vegetable base. So, I'm just with the I'm hearing a bit of chatter there. Nice and slick. Lovely. Lovely scent coming off as well. Definitely a keeper scent for me. So I'll put a bit of atom on. Oh, look at that leather. Put it complaints about this leather. It's absolutely lovely. And the scent's really nice. If you like the cologne style scents. I can't distinguish the scents, any particular scent. Maybe the sandalwood I can smell, but um, I can't smell the others in particular. Now whispers from the woods come from about uh, 140 kilometers west of Sydney in a place called Black Springs. Alex moved there with her family in 2014 to start up a uh, sustainable lifestyle. And part of that lifestyle 
was looking for things to do on the property that is sustainable. And one of those was soap making. Blade's doing pretty well. Feels pretty good. Not as smooth as some, but not a bad blade. Nice. I have no complaints about slickness protection beautiful or cushion I think they call it some people call it cushion I call it protection most of the time it's, a, it's the same thing or well, at least it is to me cushion and protection are the same so she I just read I'm reading from my notes here I'm trying to the actual logo on the side there, the the tree next to the W on the whispers, is actually a tree on her property. That gives her great joy to look at. And the woods is actually part of her name, so... So, Whispers is like, you know, the whispering wind through the woods where she lives. So, that's where the name sort of came from. As you can see, this is a lovely leather. <laughs> Spending too much time putting it on. So when she started um, making the soap, she got her colleagues at work to test it. Or we the guinea pigs, as you say. Hands a bit slippery, I'll put some more alum on. Noise, noise, noise. So So once she um optimizes her soap, she uses a hot Technique, hot soap technique. Like many of the soap makers today, not many use the cold process, not the um, shaving artisans at least. Like many soap makers, she started out selling the, her soaps in markets and that before developing an online presence. Now she sells on her website uh, razors and brushes and Shaving bowls.
I'm just getting that, I'm just gather that <laughs> off the side there. And now, just do a bit of touch ups. Oh, so. Lovely so I'll just do another pass, I reckon. Pleasure to use this soap. It really is. I'm getting some strange chatter off this razor. Uh, it's doing the job. I bought the razor because I like the handle. <laughs> so I was going to throw the head away and just use the handle on another razor. The head's not too bad. If you get a chance, um, you want to read the uh, the about page on the Whispers from the Wood site. It's quite interesting. I always find those things interesting. How people started up and why they did it. How they progressed. This is not going to be a super close shave. You can't get super close, at least I am not able to, with this razor. Definitely a very pleasant, mild shave. You can see I've got no weepers or anything. Nothing dangerous. I'll take the glasses off so we can get under. It's plenty of residual. residual now. That's very nice. That's a very nice shave. Damn fine shave. 
not a BBS, but very, very nice. Very pleasant. And I'll show you the leftover leather, still stable, still rich and shiny. I'll use that on my face before I have my shower. I just spread it all over my face and then I clean up around the shaving area and then I have my shower and then I'll come back. See you shortly. Back from the shower. So we'll go straight into my post shave with a bit of witch hazel and menthol crystals. Lovely shave. Wasn't particularly close shave, but I don't chase BBS. I'll probably do another shave tomorrow. Beautiful. Um, what are we uh, Right, we go with the Lucky Tiger. Vanishing cream, which is actually vanishing in the butt in the bowl now. There's my post shave balm, which is mentholated as well with eucalyptus. I did actually forget to uh, use that on today, but it wasn't particularly close, so I didn't need it. Alright, we'll go over the props while that's soaking in. We went with Whispers from the Woods. Polo, lovely cologne scent based on the um, Polo Sport from Ralph Lauren or Lauren. The brush we used was the hexagon handle from DS Cosmetics, and the knot in there is. Uh, Snow Leopard from Yaki, 26mm, lovely soft knot, beautiful, like that knot. The razor we used was the generic D89 head, probably not the best of heads, but a lovely handle, I like the handle on it. And the blade we used in that is a Zorik. Sorik, made in India, I think. Let me see. Yeah, made in India. I can't see who it's made by. They're yeah, from the Supermax group in India. The bowl is another Whispers product. Whispers, a little bit of soap left over. Whispers from the woods, lovely bowl. One of my favourites is pre-shave was my activated charcoal glycerin soap from Verde. Shrinking smaller, shrinking smaller. Is that a way to say it? Spray bottle for adding water to the leather build. Just a generic spray bottle. And I think that's it. So, final ingredient, keeping with the um, polo type theme and horses, is Imperial, no, not Imperial, English leather from Dana. I think they're made in the US. Now, just splash that on. Oh, yes. 
That's my show for today. We'll catch you on my next one. See you soon.